So right now, we got Macy's to close their historic Union Square location. This is one of the nicest places in San Francisco, Union Square. Well, I guess it used to be. You know Union Square used to be like this place where like all the big stores are gathered around. It's kind of like, let's say like a mall, right? It's going to be your anchor stores. It's going to be like the place where most people go and then they branch out to the smaller mom and pop stores and whatever. So Union Square right now is basically empty. Let me show you guys where Union Square is in San Francisco. It's basically like around this area, right? It's basically on Market Street. It's kind of close to the Tenderloin. It's right next to the San Francisco Mall. It's kind of right there with the Civic Center. Well, guess what's happening with this strip? It has one of the highest crime rates in California, open air drug markets, homeless people everywhere, and people pass on the streets. Not exactly the most welcoming place for shopping at Macy's or taking your money here and have a good time. In fact, many people are now moving out of San Francisco. Population is at a massive decline, despite the U.S. population having a massive increase. It's a huge blow to San Francisco. Macy's, for any mall, is literally an anchor store. Just like how this Macy's flagship store in Union Square is an anchor store. And they're done. Look at how big this Macy is. It's enormous. I mean, there's even a Cheesecake Factory stuff inside. This is a huge Macy's that's leaving and closing its doors. Well, can you take a guess about why they close their doors? Let's think about this. Is it shoplifting? Is it the crime? Is it the mass ransacking? Well, it's all three, and the city doesn't care. You would think after the Nordstrom and that mall closed down, San Francisco probably have this huge renovation of the city, maybe a big policy change. But no, they just kept it the same old way, and even proposing to turn that closed mall into a soccer stadium. That's not really the thing here. We're not we're talking about soccer stadiums. We're talking about the high crime. Can San Francisco fix this? They just don't want to fix it. Right now, Union Square is completely empty. Look at this, guys. You got a Union Square store closing after 172 years in San Francisco. It is a prestigious jeweler. Now, they're moving to Palo Alto, which is actually a decent spot. If you guys know what Palo Alto is in the Bay Area, it's kind of like this neighborhood right next to Stanford. It's right next to some of the biggest tech companies in the world. I could say in the Bay Area, this is one of the last places where it's actually pretty decent, where the crime is actually pretty low, I guess. And they're done with San Francisco. Being such a big jeweler, they don't really want to risk their merchandise being stolen or robbed. They're closing after nearly two centuries. This is supposed to be their place forever, but they had to close. The jeweler didn't really say why they're moving to Palo Alto, but they say it's a strategic retooling of the company's business plan, which basically means that they don't really stand here. Now, it's not really a big surprise. You got a lot of really old stores leaving San Francisco, like this Macy's, which has been here for a while. It's also like the foot traffic. A lot of the wealthy residents have already left. Many of the tech workers have left. San Francisco's big population decline is a big problem. Now we're seeing a lot of these stores closing, even when shoplifting isn't a factor. You know San Francisco recently opened an Ikea store on Market Street, which is one of the worst places to open because it's so dangerous? There's already like a bunch of photos coming out showing the brand new Ikea store completely deserted, as construction and especially crime is preventing shoppers from going there. Even now in 2024, this Ikea has always been kind of empty. I think about opening like a buffet or like one of those Ikea meatball places. I've never really been to them, but I heard they're great. You know, Ikea food, surprisingly, is delicious, even though it's a furniture store. It's crazy, isn't it? But right now, even Ikea isn't really making that much business because I don't know why in the world they ever open on Market Street. You know, it's very high crime, very, very high homelessness. This is why so many stores are closed and Ikea actually had the balls to go in. And now they may be pulling out, but we don't really know. Right now, Market Street in downtown San Francisco has become a hotbed for drugs and crime, leaving several stores like Big Macy's to close down. It's a historic blow, guys. And San Francisco is leading tech conferences left and right. How do you lose against Las Vegas, who is a gambling hub? It's pretty simple. Las Vegas actually has good policies and low crime, low shoplifting, and it's actually a safe place for people to walk around and tourist. San Francisco is not. Bad policies, which is causing even Google's Cloud Next event to just straight up ahead of San Francisco. They're actually kind of worried about people coming to their event internationally and like getting robbed or getting their cars broken in. And of course, even some of the biggest projects are now on hold. In fact, it's kind of funny, Lindley's is losing contracts left and right. In fact, they're exiting the whole entire US market altogether because they're sick and tired of this. They got canceled by Google, canceled by this project, and many more. 
And I can't blame them. You know, the Bay Area is one of the worst places for real estate right now. And multi-billion dollar contracts have been canceled. And just shows you how weak the Bay Area has become after four years, you know, after the pandemic. Can they recover? Can they recover after the fifth year, you know, post-pandemic? We don't really know because the policies still haven't changed. It's just the same old policies over and over again. And they just keep slapping these weird band-aid solutions on it without any sort of improvement here. So thanks for watching, guys. Comment below and see you later.